YouTube, Model Railroader fans, I'm Ray, it's October the 15th, 2016, and this is vlog number 20. I'm way behind. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, well, there we go. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I am way behind. Um, really not a whole lot going on down here. Um, was still playing around with a couple of um, a couple of ideas for the layout. I'm still debating what I'm going to do with this thing. Um, I haven't had ch the lights just flickered. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I haven't had a chance to dive into any of the stuff that I've been wanting to dive into. Um, you know, the weather's getting colder, which is a good thing. That means I'll be bringing my butt down here more often. I hope. Um, but, you know, I just really haven't had the chance to get down here to do much of anything. In fact, I just got finished updating all, all of our bowling stuff, so that video will be going up around the same time as this one, so... Hey, this stinks to be the league president and the one that decides he wants to do social media, right? Hey, whatever. <laughs> Anywho... Um, yeah, like I said, I just really haven't had a chance to get down here and mess around too much. Um, still playing around with some ideas, still messing around with all that. Um, you know, I just, and the funny thing of it is, I saw something from Gino the other day, and, and to be honest, this year has been rather rough for me, um, just with all the different things going on and so on and so forth, and, you know, I kind of hit an impasse. Uh, I want to get down here and do work, but at the same time, I just haven't had, you know, I, there's so much I want to do with this, with this layout, and, and there's other things that I've got sitting over here that I want to play, but that I want to mess with so bad, and I just, I, I just cannot seem to get the creative juices or the energy to get down here to mess with this thing. I, I just, I don't know what it is, I just... I just haven't had, you know, I do, I, trust me, I want to get down here, I want to get stuff done. I just, I just don't, for whatever reason, that drive just disappeared. I, I think Derek Glass went through this last year, so, you know, it, it happens, you know, it, it's, it's like you want to do it, but at the same time you're like, I just don't feel like messing with this right now. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. Um... Not sure if you all are familiar with um, the uh, Elizabethtown and Benton Central, or the Elizabethtown and the, and the Benton Central Railroad. Uh, it's run by a fellow by the name of Bill Sturgeon. Um, he's on uh, Facebook, not so much on YouTube, but he's been doing uh, the, the work that he's been doing. He's done some mashup work. He's been he does a lot of custom work specifically for his own railroad. But you know he's in the process of rebuilding. Uh, some of his dad's locomotives. Apparently, I'm from what I gather, um, they were in a fire years ago, and they, they weren't actually the, the locomotives weren't actually in the fire, but the you know from the water and the moisture and everything else, well, it ruined a bunch of stuff. And you know he's been going back through and refurbishing it. So you know, and he was talking today about you know he pulled apart one of the one of those locomotives and found out that the you know, the wheels had had gotten rusted, and, and you know, just, it was just surface rust, and, uh, you know, was talking about what he did is actually took the wheels apart, put them into a, I guess, a Dremel tool, and ran at a real low speed, and took a Bright Boy in, and cleaned them up, and I'm like, well, I, I basically, I haven't gone to that length, thankfully, most of the stuff that I've got, it just gets tarnished, and you just have to clean it up a little bit, and I mentioned about using uh, crocus cloth which, you know, is a very, very, very fine um, sandpaper. You know, I, I hate to call it sandpaper because I, it's really, I guess it is, but it's not to me. It's, it's more of a polisher than it is anything else. And one of the things I mentioned, I replied on his, um, on his post, one of the things I mentioned, you know, was, you know, you can use this stuff. And in fact, a few years back, I had actually bought a track lot on eBay, and the switches were, the, the switches and some of the track were so tarnished, they were black. And, um, 
what I did was just took some really light pressure and went through about a sheet of this stuff just cleaning off the rail heads and inside the rails and it worked just fine in fact some of those switches are sitting on the layout now and knock on wood you know haven't given me a lick of trouble so you know it, it, like I said uh, like I told to said on that, that post is you can use this stuff just you, you want to apply very light pressure because if you get in there like you're sanding a piece of wood and get really get behind then you're going to gouge the living heck out of stuff and you know you don't need to do that with this so like I said I've been using it for years on locomotive wheels on the track and everything and I, I you know I really don't have any trouble at all um, so it's again knock on wood so that way if I go over there and start running trains things don't get so peanut gallery. Anyway. <laughs> Everybody's a freaking comedian. Everybody's got to have something to say, right? Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm having one of those weeks. Uh, but, you know, like I said, that, that's where I'm at. That's what I'm up to. Um, you know, it's getting, actually in two weeks I got my niece and my nephew coming back over again, so I've got to I, I've got a little bit of motivation to get down here and start doing something, make sure that this thing's cleaned up and ready to go for when they get here. Uh, the other thing of it is, and I know it was tossed around a little bit, uh, some folks may not know it, and then actually I mentioned it on the last vlog, and um, I know some folks, in fact Sparky was on, Walt, Walt World was on, uh, Model Railer, who I hadn't, hadn't heard from in a long time, and Martin Bergman, you know, they were, they, they replied on the last one, and of course Sparky was asking, of course he's up in Canada, but, you know, good night, Mike, uh, actually, Australia, sorry, <laughs> told you, I'm not having a good week, uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, <laughs> hey, um, <laughs> but the uh, train show, I think this one, this one coming up to Maryland uh, in two weeks. Uh, it's actually the 29th and the 30th. Yeah, that's the weekend. It's either the 29th and the 30th or the 28th and 29th, whatever it is. You know what? So that way I keep myself out of trouble here. <laughs> it's a toll order. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm not on call. Leave me alone. It is the 29th and the 30th. Thank you very much. <laughs> smartphones only as smart as the user anyway um <laughs> it will be the train show is at the timonium fairgrounds here in the great state of maryland and um it's over off of york road and uh, actually between york road and 83 it's the maryland state fair um we call it the maryland state fair it's actually the state fairgrounds um last year when i went and i saw justin volker there and we i met up with walt and that was the first time i actually got a chance to really talk to walt in fact he came over here and um got to see the see the monster to my right um you know it it wasn't a it was more of a, a swap meet than it was a a train show um, I'm used to the one that comes in around uh, Valentine's Day or between Valentine's Day and uh, the Super Bowl. Um, that's a big one. You know, they've got all the modular layouts that come in from out of state and so on. You know, um, the uh, the Mars people they come in. Mars, it's the Maryland area Rail, railroad society. Um, they come in. Um, there's folks that come down from Pennsylvania. There's people that come up from Virginia and. You know, everything from Z scale to G scale comes in, and they've got one side of the uh, cow palace is the swap meet, and the other side is the displays. And this one here that comes in in November is, like I said, it's more of a sale than it is a show, but, you know, I'll take my niece and my nephew over there anyways and let them run around for a little bit and wear them out before, we bring them, before I bring them back home. <laughs> You know, they're, what, uh, seven and four? So, you know, that's one of the things. They're, they're, they're already telling my brother, yeah, we're good. in two weeks we're going down to Uncle Ray's. 
Yeah, that means I need to make sure that the trains are running. Because if they're not, I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> In fact, i got to make sure I get Percy back on the layout, and i got to get Emily back on the layout, because the youngest one is uh, and likes Thomas, so I'll have to make sure, that because they were asking me about that the last time, where's Percy, where's Thomas, where's the... I'm like, I don't have Thomas. I have Percy. I have Emily. Well, where's Percy? I said, he's in the yard. Where's Emily? I said, she's up on the shelf. Well, can you run him? Um, well, <laughs> not without a whole lot of uh, shuffling here. It would take me longer to shuffle the stuff than it would be for the it would be for you guys to be down here. So, of course, I didn't hear the end of that. But they were happy just watching the train, the rest of the trains go around. So it wasn't that big of a deal. But, yeah. Uh, all to have their energy, you know? <laughs> so, alright, group, well, you know, I'm up to 11 minutes, and I'm doing nothing but rambling here, but, you know, just want to let you all know that, yeah, things are still going on down here in the Beauville and Newtown, and, uh, you know, we're, we're still live and kicking. <laughs> still alive and running with it. So, you all know the deal. You wait for the highball, green tracks ahead. Be safe out there. We'll catch you all next time. See ya.